What's up everybody, 915 Man here doing a video today. Front and center you can see some good old Aptasia. In my last video I was telling you about some shrimp. I'm gonna go pick up some shrimp. I'm about to pick out a couple of peppermints. I'm gonna go to the LFS, the coral reef. We're gonna hang out with Alan and uh, it's a real nice day to go out there and hang out. So I'm going to take a short drive right here in this building coming up on the right hand side is a high school and uh, I pass by it every time I go to the coral reef. It's the same high school that Khalid representing the 915 El Paso. That's his high school right there on the right hand side. Just thought I'd go ahead and share that with you. Most definitely representing and uh, it's all it's all there on the way to the LFS. So there's that fun little fact right there on my way to the LFS, the coral reef. And uh, I'm going to go hang out with Alan. We're just going to show me uh, the tanks. We're going to talk a little bit. And for sure, I'm going to came here for some peppermint shrimp. So let's take a quick cruise. Me and my brother is just like three spirit Oh, then that's good because all, all your guys' tanks. Yeah, man. Uh, so what else is new? Um, I think that finally, like the main display is growing out very nice. It's finally like some of the things are just growing out like crazy. I see it. I think yeah. I think whenever I pretty much dialed in all the dosing and stuff, everything just kind of exploded. Even the colors, none of you know. Let's go check it out. It's crazy. It's been a while. I, I haven't been here since uh, since after since before the holidays. After so now I got a little bit of. These look sweet. It's been like two three months, right? Yeah. Months, yeah. That looks good. Cool. It's like everything just kind of. And then some of the pieces we got from uh, it was a uh, ex military JJ. He moved out. He went back home to Maine. I don't know who that and he, is. And he gave us everything. Oh, that's sweet. And fish and stuff. And I put most of his corals in here. Like all the, the polyps you see in the back. That rock was his. Kind of fit perfectly what we were trying to do here. So. And then like the Montepar caps. He just like grew out like crazy. It's cool man. It is. Nice pull-up extension and everything. Everything's just standing out now. It's just like... It's crazy though because this tank is like low maintenance. Does it, does it have all the fancy stuff on it? And no, it just it just has a really good skimmer. And is it I, connected to the RTD? This too? one, no. This oh. one has a separate skimmer. And it has, but it has an Aquamax, the it's a C6. But it's rated for a 600 gallon tank. Yeah. It just makes it less of a hassle to make this system. It looks good. Just, now I'm being more selective with the things that I put. You know what I mean? Like trying to find like where kind of... These eight cans are sweet, man. Holy shit. You know what I mean? Like most of those I've recovered. Customers bring them in because they're dying. Uh huh. I just put them in there just to recover them, just give them a chance to kind of survive. So. Man, they look fat and healthy. And like, I started doing like the, started doing them in the back. The, uh, yeah, I had uh, my, uh, what's that shit called? Um, Jedi Mind Trick, that one? Yeah. I got that one from uh, Cherry Corals and it started to bounce back. Most of it died though. Yeah. Take, take this one, right? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I see the zoas. They, they fat enough, like it's, like it's awesome. Like whenever you put them in pretty high flow, they kind of like smush it together. Yeah. It's like the coolest thing ever. Oh, your bonsai is looking good. I think the one that people really like is in the back. I'm, I'm not a fan of the greens too much anymore. The radioactive green. It is bright though. It's pretty sweet. It's like a Wolverine. People say it's like Wolverine. Though. 
everything's doing good. Yeah. Is this the MP60? Yeah, MP60. Just a single MP60, and then there's a the smaller the gyre, gyre in the yeah. back. It's kind of there you all of the green in the back. It's not even all the way up. It's like 50 percent. Both. Of them. Yeah, I was like, well, I'll, I'll come over here visit Alan, change it up. There's only only so many videos I could do of my tank. <laughs> and then everybody's favorite the little top fish in the back. That's good. Really? Looks sweet. This is the filtration right here? So the filtration is in the back, but I can show you all the dots in the back. Oh, okay. Pretty much the bionic. Bionic dosing, that's the simplest one. Oh, the, uh... Yeah, and then we do the Red Sea, the Red Sea supplementation. Of course, can't go wrong with the aqua power. Yeah, I need to buy some more, but. Yeah, aqua power is awesome. Do you use a lot of aqua power or? Um, yeah, I just I just dose weekly. I don't do more than that. You could do more than that if you have a lot more corals, but it seems to one once a week is isn't sufficient enough for our tanks. Yeah. And that stuff's expensive too, so. So everything. Everything that you see, most of it I've thrown out of you know, frags. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the way to go. For me, anyways. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's a challenge as a reaper. You know what I mean? Like, if you're, you can buy all the colonies and whatever or not you want, but if you're able to grow them and, like, keep them, like, it's just, what's, you know what I mean? What's the challenge? You can just go and buy all the colonies you want and just make it look nice in the day. But... I think it makes the corals more hardy, too, if you grow them. Grow them out, yeah. And a little frag and then water changes again. Yeah, exactly. Let's see. A couple of fish. I can show you the filtration in the back. Check it out. It's the simplest thing ever. Man. It's just it. Oh, oh yeah. It's literally all this. I used to run the UV, but... Yeah. You don't even run UV? No. Ah, that's a sweet collection coat. Yeah. I mean, that's around like three or four days. Damn. Those are the things that I've seen that work for us, you know. As long as you have a good, good focus here and a good flow in the tank, then any, you can grow anything. And a good high output bite. It's pretty sweet. The radions? Yeah. What do you think about the, um, the, uh, those, uh, Diffusers, light diffusers so, now. So those light diffusers actually decrease your power twenty percent. So for us, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be that great. But they're they're awesome. You know what I mean? Like I don't know why they didn't they didn't come up with those like a long time ago. The diffusers pretty much evens out the light. You know, it's the light. I guess finally, like in, like engineers are taking over the hobby now. So uh huh. They're kind of putting their, their engineering. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Much, you know what I mean? Like it's just. I don't know if you noticed, like every single light you see in the streets and stuff, they have light diffusers. So you can pretty much spread out the light. You know, it's what you need. No apex? Right? Huh? No apex? No, not yet. No, I don't really see. I mean, yeah, it's, it's cool, but... Yeah. Simple timer will work. It's never gonna fail. You know what I mean? Like, I mean for this one, I, I like keeping tabs on it. The one that I like, just kind of test the most, you know. Cool, man. All the goodies. Back here is kind of our... Throw out? 
pretty much grow up. We have some pretty rare stuff back here. Some of these frags are just in the oil and honey and grouse. That's, that's pretty sweet chalices. Yeah. Very cool chalices. Um, when I borrowed. I think I'm supposed to run 100 and something tracks like this. in the back just already spread out to the crate's head. Yeah, but some of these, we, we give a couple weeks, months, kind of hang out. It'd be sweet, throw some meteor shower or GSP or something. Yeah, it's cool. be okay but I don't know. And all those damsels are rescues from people's tanks. Because they go. This is what they, they, they do. Yeah, yeah because they go crazy and then people just bring them to me. <laughs> I like your tonga though. All that rock is for sale. Tongas. This will be sweet once you grow it out. <clears throat> I know a lot of people are always looking for macroalgae. Yeah, you know, right now they're actually running a special on those lights on eBay. If you guys want to grow some crazy ass, crazy fast algae, those are like 100 bucks right now on eBay. Um, Free shipping. I saw something with the UFO light, it's like 60 bucks or yeah. something like that. Yeah. I started using one of those in my tank. Got the algae like this. Uh -huh. That um, Stability of the, tank. the file fish that you have, um, that eats Aptasia too, right? Yeah. I've never had a file fish, but it's ugly. Yeah, that thing's ugly though. <laughs> So I came back with a couple of zoas, um, two heads on this coral, and this was actually in his back room, so it wasn't even out there. So shout out to Alan for letting me pick it up. Pretty sweet, and uh, I'm going to show you a better look at this under some LEDs. But for right now, I'm just going to put it in the 180, of course, dip it and all that good stuff. But uh, look at it, it's looking pretty good. It's opened up, and I uh, can't wait for this sucker to grow out. Because I have, uh, I love the yellow colors because I think the yellow colors are a little bit more rare as far as uh, zoas and in the saltwater hobby in general. I also picked up some uh, peppermint shrimp. 
I picked up a total of four peppermint shrimp. Hopefully they go after the Aptasia. The plan is to get four right now, see how they do. If I need to go back to the LFS, this gives me another reason to go back, pick up even more peppermint shrimp. But I'm going to throw three of them in the 180, and I'm going to throw one of them in the 20-gallon uh, long frag tank. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go for now. I'm going to do a quick acclimation of the peppermints. Get them uh, accustomed to the tank. I am going to go ahead and feed a cube of frozen food. So that way my uh, Melanaris Rast doesn't go sniping them. Um, because the Melanaris Rast will eat your shrimp um, if it doesn't have enough meaty products. I've been feeding pellets mainly. Alright guys, thanks for watching. You guys stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Have a good one. Like, subscribe. You guys take care.